And since the last time we, you know, I streamed this, I did pull a couple of cool cards. Uh, I did get a second, I think we got, did I get this on stream or off stream? I think it was off stream. I got a second Gengar V Max and I traded for a second Gengar V. So at a certain point, we will be running this deck. I don't have the, the packs to trade for more just yet, but this is on our short list. And then also... I pulled I pulled some of the homies. I finally I got the Mew V and a Mew V Max. Of course, right now the star of the possibly the most broken deck of all time in the Pokemon trading card game. I it's very hard to trade for these, so me pulling one one of each is is pretty good. We're gonna try and get some more though. How about we go and open some fusion strike and see if we can get a Mew V, a Mew V Max, even a Gengar would be fine. Let's see how we do. Uh... Nah, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Here we go, looking for a Mew. Either Mu V or V Max. And... Okay, okay. Oricorio, not bad. If we're building the Fusion Strike deck, Oricorio has the ability to help Fusion Strike Pokemon take 20 less damage. So we're going to want at least one of these, which is great. Let's try another one. So not a complete L. Like, we are starting from scratch on Fusion Strike cards. So... Any that we get, the better. Ooh, okay. And... Yes! Oh, my goodness. Yes, Genesect V! Oh, my good. This is... Speaking of trying to build cards for the Mew V Max deck, Genesect, one of the most important cards and one of the most busted draw engine cards of the entire game with its ability... Fusion Strike System. Once during your turn, you may draw until you have as many cards in your hand as you have Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. And of course, if you're playing a Fusion Strike deck, that's like up to six cards. And this ability stacks. It's one per Genesect. So if you got three Genesects on the field, you can do that three times. You can burn through like half your deck in one go and just have everything you need for the rest of the game. We're going to need four of these. But getting one is a fantastic start because it's one of the hardest cards to get and one of the more expensive cards to trade for in the game. Fantastic. Uh, let's. I guess we we keep opening until we get sad, right? That's the rule. You never end on the high note. <laughs> oh, we got double rares. What do we get? We got a Swampert. Okay. And okay, Rillaboom V is not well. Okay, it's it's not not great, but it is a V. Let's keep going. <laughs> Here we go. And... Oh, all right. Again, Galarian Obstagoon. I was trying to hint at single prize Pokemon, kind of making a resurgence here. Galarian Obstagoon being one of them for one energy. You can either silence your opponent's move, and you know, a lot of V Maxes only have one move, so you can just shut that off. Or Merciless Strike, uh, 60 damage, plus if your opponent ha already has damage on it. This attack does 90 more. So you're hitting for 150 each time. And if you put the Zigzagoon on the field or you have Inteleons for spread damage, it's pretty easy to get 150 each time on a single price Pokemon, which is fantastic. We're kind of on a roll here. I, I, I want to save my cards until... You know, I want to spread these openings across the stream. But here we go. All right, let's, let's go back to the game. Okay, how about we open a couple more packs here? We've got some other ones. I'm sitting on some Chilling Rain. Yeah, let's go open some of these. I mean, I, I have most of Chilling Rain at this point. Some Spiral Energy is not bad. We do also get a Gardevoir. I was actually really looking for one of these, and I think I have a full set of those now, which is which is great, because I want to build that Gardevoir deck. And... <sighs> okay. 
Yeah, my my stream deck is lagging a bit, so it's looping the sound around before it cuts off. We've also got... Well, I don't care about that card at all. And... Oh, we got a, we got another Ice Rider. <laughs> all right. I mean, I've got extra now. Um, I guess I'll have to, you know, maybe I can give that to, to a friend. How about some Evolving Skies? Yeah, let's try that. I'm still looking for Jolteons. That is the, the last major thing that I would like to get. I mean, not to say that I have every card, but... The last major set of cards I'm looking for are the Jolteons in this. Ooh, and that is not it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. How about Fusion Strike? Don't don't let us down, please. All right, Pangoro. And... Down. Let's try this again. And then we'll go back to, to some matches. Cramorat Cramoratic Cramomatic is good. And <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god! The the alternate art Mew, the gorgeous card again, one step closer to building the the OP Mew deck of our dreams. Oh, that's going to look so good in the deck when we finally build it. Oh, oh man. Oh, this th that's fantastic. Okay, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. Of course, we can't end until we're sad. <laughs> that was almost as high of a note as we could possibly get. So it's going to go downhill from here unless we... Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the games. Still, still, we're just just for those keeping score, we now have we have two V Mu V's and one Mu V Max. The goal would be, I guess, a four three line. So two more of these, two more of these. And look, that's still a ways to go. And these cards are so expensive to trade for or pick up. And they're incredibly rare as well, but uh, we've got three out of the seven cards, which is great. So let's roll the dice again and see if we can get 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 a mute here or two or three. Am I pushing it? How about four? Okay, oh, we, we got a bad zigzagoon and oh. No, that that ain't it. That ain't it. Oh, three energy, 90 damage. No. Okay, how about this one? No. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. I think that Snorlax is super cute, but it's a, it's, it's a bad card. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Schoolboy and no, not the Schoolboy. The view we. Heck, yes. Okay, we've got three Mews again. Mew V Max is is the is the card we really really want, but Mew V you can't have V Max without V. And Mu V by itself, 180, little low health, but you do get energy mix, which for one energy lets you search your deck for an energy card and attach it to one of your fusion strike Pokemon. And Psychic Leap for 70, well, two energy does 70 damage, and you can shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. So you just need to do some quick damage, or it's already hurt. You can go hit for 70 and just get it off the field, and then it's not a liability anymore. And you can copy this as Mew VMAX as well. So we are a little closer to building our Mew VMAX deck. That puts us at three Vs and one VMAX. If we can get one more V and two more VMAXs. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's open another one. Let's open another one.
again yeah the mu v max is so hard to trade for it's like 40 cards per or 40 packs for per no <laughs> bail out bail out let's open a couple other ones we've got got some chill oh battle styles Okay, elect a buzz and a bolt. This one's actually not bad. This is not bad. I've seen this as a rogue deck. It's fine. Uh, is it that one? Oh, I don't actually remember if it was that one. <laughs> uh, Chilling Rain. I know there is a Bolton, like a regular Bolton card that's doing okay. As a rogue deck. Chilling Rain. We're looking for Shadow Rider, Calyrex V Max. Reverse Hollow Path to the Peak. I'll have to add that to my, my deck. And No. This this is not this is not not it. Not double Claras and Oof. 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 And, and this darkness of let's open this one darkness of blaze for funsies maybe we get an eternatus or something in here or the charizard we got the rowlet all right maybe the the, the the sidui all right we can't i can't complain too much we did get another mu v and we're almost there we're almost there I'm not going to open like that, those extra two, the unlocks. I'm going to save those for trades. Here we go. No. <laughs> no, that ain't it. That ain't it. We might have, I mean, we've had pretty good luck today. I mean, we got two, a Mew alternate art, a Mew V, a Genesect, and we got a Rillaboom V as well. I mean, at this point, we're getting greedy. And we got the Rillaboom V Max. I think we're actually, like, not that far away from actually building a Rillaboom V deck. What do we have? We have four Rillaboom. We have two different Vs, and we have two V Maxes. Four, two. That, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. And we're missing Appleton. Yes, you're right, Meg. <laughs> okay. We got a cram, cram o matic Reverse hollow and a, a Bolton V Mat the Rainbow. I think this is my second one too. I have two of these. Wow. Oh, we also pulled a rainbow green at VMAX today. Like, we're on fire. Uh, I might have to build the Bolton VMAX deck, and it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Woo! Okay, we're, we're, let's, let's back off the Fusion Strike for a little bit. Let's, let's try some other packs here. We got some battle styles to open. At this point, I don't know what I'm looking for in battle styles. I'll take a scroll. Urn of Vitality is always good. Or beetle, fine. <laughs> yeah, with fusion strike, I found my luck has been pretty poor. I've opened over a hundred packs, and I it hasn't been nearly as good for most of it. Hey, we got another rapid strike Urshifu V, but I think that means, um, let's see. Yeah, because I think we have... Yeah, we have... I've... Meg will be in touch. Okay. So, two, one, two... Uh, let's open this last Evolving Skies pack. See what we can get. Okay. Zinnia's Resolve... I'm looking for a Jolteon here. No, this isn't it. This is not a bad card. I've seen people... I've lost to this card before. The ability to do uh, 160 damage to 
uh, Pokemon V. Or it's the Acidic Mucus move, where it does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon play that have an ability. A lot of decks are like all ability Pokemon, so you can you can wreck a lot with that. Okay, here we go. Let's go final three packs. Fusion Strike. I don't know if I can I can ask for any more. The Fusion Strike has given us so much today. <laughs> Are you kidding? Wow, Chandelure V Max. We got our second one of those. I don't have any Chandelure Vs, but I know they're pretty cheap to trade for. I have lost to this once. Uh, I sure. Yeah, let's go make it happen. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas to me. My word. My word. Rever a new reverse holo Raja and... Oh, oh, okay. This Butterfree is actually not bad. This is the one where if you evolve up to it, it does the burn, confuse, and poison all at once. And if you've got the right combination of cards, you can evolve all the way up on the first turn. You hit it with the Salazzle Salaz and it does 270 damage. This is a dub. We've got three of those now, so we might be able to build that deck soon. And I think we've got one more Fusion Strike. Yeah. All right. All the marbles. No, again, not the worst. Not the worst. Oracorio is definitely an option that people like to have in their Fusion Strike decks. And we have three of them. We probably don't need three. We probably need like one max, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take, I can't be picky. 